My name is Kai, and I'm a two and a half year survivor of breast cancer. I learned that I had breast cancer when it was found during my yearly breast x-ray called a mammogram. At first, I felt scared, and I was not sure how to tell my family that a mammogram found a lump in my breast that may be cancer. I went to see my family practice doctor at OSU Gehanna Family Practice to find out what was wrong and what needed to be done next. My doctor told me that not all breast lumps or changes found on the mammogram are cancer. I also met with someone about my financial situation who helped me sign up for Medicaid. My doctor ordered more medical tests, which showed that I did have cancer in my breast. I had surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation at the James and Stephanie Spillman Comprehensive Breast Center. The chaplain at the Stephanie Spillman Comprehensive Breast Center helped me come to a decision about how to tell my family about my cancer diagnosis. The nurses answered all my questions when I was at the hospital and during each clinic visit. I finished my cancer treatment and some time has passed. My cancer is now undetectable and the doctor told me that I am cancer free. I am so grateful for the doctors and the staff at the James and the Breast Center. I still go to the Breast Center for regular checkups. Having my yearly mammogram led to my cancer being found early when it was easier to treat and I had a better chance for a cure. Hello, my name is Dr. Bridget Opong. I'm a surgical oncologist at the James who takes care of people with breast cancer. I do surgery to remove tumors in the breast or armpit that are caused by cancer. I would like to share some important information that everyone should know about breast cancer and how you can take an active part in your healthcare. As an introduction, breast cancer affects one in eight women and one in a thousand men in the United States. There are some things that may increase your chance of developing this type of cancer, and these are called risk factors. Some risk factors are under your control and can be changed, but other risk factors cannot be changed. Common breast cancer risk factors that cannot be changed include being born a female, being middle aged or older. Breast cancer can also be found in young people, but not as often. Ethnicity, for example, women who are Jewish may have a higher risk of breast cancer. Family members who have had breast or chest or ovarian cancer. High stress levels can often cause people not to take good care of themselves. They can forget to make appointments with their doctor or healthcare provider and miss regular screenings, such as yearly mammograms. Another risk factor you cannot control is if your breast or chest tissue is thick or dense. This can make it harder for breast cancer to be seen on a mammogram. Having a history of growths in the breast or chest that are not cancer, but had to be biopsied with a needle may increase your risk of breast or chest cancer. Also, if you've had breast, chest, or ovarian cancer in the past, it may be more likely for you to develop breast cancer in the future. Having no children or having your first child after age 30 is another risk factor. And finally, if you've had radiation treatments to the chest as a child or young adult, this could increase your breast cancer risk. There are things you can do to change some of your breast or chest cancer risk factors. These include having a clinical breast or chest and armpit exam by your doctor or healthcare provider and a mammogram each year starting at age 40. At this exam, your healthcare provider will give you a complete physical that includes checking your breast. During your breast exam, they will look at the skin covering your breast or chest and press on your breast or chest to feel for lumps or thick areas of skin or tissue. If it would make you feel more comfortable, you can ask for someone to stay with you during this exam. Another risk factor under your control is to reach and stay at a healthy weight to lower your risk of breast cancer. Try to eat low fat, low sugar food of mostly vegetables and fruit. Fill your plate with half fruits and veggies, quarter whole grains, and quarter chicken fish or other types of protein. Limit eating red meat cold cuts, or sausage. Be active and exercise at least 150 minutes a week. 
Remember, walking counts. You can lower your breast cancer risk by not smoking or using any type of tobacco. Do not drink. Choosing to breastfeed or chest feed your baby can also lower your breast cancer risk. Other actions you can take to lower your chance of breast cancer or to find breast cancer as early as possible include having an adult checkup with your doctor or healthcare provider by age 25. At this checkup, you will share information about your health problems and will be asked about your family history. Your doctor or healthcare provider will talk with you about breast changes to report and when you should start having a mammogram and how often it should be repeated. Anyone who was born a female and does not have a high risk for breast cancer should have their first mammogram at age 40 and every year after that. Some find it helpful to schedule their mammogram each year around their birthday. After a mammogram, you may get a phone call or a letter to tell you to call the location where you had your mammogram. It is important to make this phone call to see what follow-up actions may be needed. Call your doctor or healthcare provider if you have any concerns or need more information. Part of your self-care includes paying attention to changes in your breasts or chest. If you notice a lump, change in skin color, change in the shape of the breast or other differences, see a doctor. If you do not have medical insurance or need help paying for these regular breast health screenings and mammograms, we may be able to help. The James and the Stephanie Spielman Comprehensive Breast Center has patient navigators who can check to see if money may be available from state or other project funds to help pay these costs. The navigator can guide you through the steps to apply for this money. A patient navigator can meet with you when you come for your appointment at an OSU mammography location or the Stephanie Spielman Comprehensive Breast Center. You can also call a James Patient Navigator at 614-293-4112 with any questions. Feel free to leave a message and someone will call you back. It is important to take charge of your breast health. Take these steps now to lower your risk for breast or chest cancer. Have regular checkups with your doctor or healthcare provider. Schedule your mammograms as directed by your doctor or healthcare provider and report any changes in your breast or chest to your doctor or healthcare provider as soon as possible.